President Barack Obama is spending the night in the Southland, an escape from the sharpening criticism in Washington, D.C. The president earlier today hosted a town hall meeting in front of a very enthusiastic crowd at the Orange County Fairgrounds, that's in Costa Mesa, and much of the talk was about the AIG scandal and our faltering economy. KCAL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan joins us live now from Costa Mesa with all the latest. Dave. Well, Sylvia Sandy, the president, of course, had every intention of coming here to Orange County to talk about his $3.7 trillion, $3.6 trillion budget proposal, a controversial budget proposal at that. And he did, in fact, talk about the budget, as you indicated, but it wasn't the number one item on his agenda. Because, of course, like every other issue in Washington these days, it's been blown to the sidelines by the controversy over the AIG bonuses. So even the president acknowledged today that it was with some relief that he hopped aboard Air Force One and headed to California. With the questions getting tougher and the criticism sharper about what his administration knew concerning the AIG bonuses and when they knew it, President Barack Obama brought his economic town hall roadshow to Orange County. It is always good to get out of Washington for a little while and come to places like Costa Mesa. You know, the climate is a lot nicer. And so is the conversation. He came to California to talk about his $3.6 trillion budget proposal, but with the chairman of AIG testifying on Capitol Hill and Congress poised to pass a 90% tax on the AIG bonuses, Mr. Obama had little choice but to address the boiling AIG controversy head on, at one point sounding like he was comparing AIG to a terrorist. The same is true with AIG. It was the right thing to do to step in. Here's the problem. It's almost like they've got, uh, uh, they, they, they've got some, a bomb strapped to them and they've got their hand on the trigger. You don't want them to blow up, but you've got to kind of talk them, ease that finger off the trigger. He went on to say that although his administration didn't create the financial meltdown, the buck stops with the president and he'll take the heat that goes along with trying to fix it. We didn't draft these contracts. And we've got a lot on our plate, but it is appropriate when you're in charge to make sure that stuff doesn't happen like this. So we're going to do everything we can to fix it. So for everybody in Washington who's busy scrambling trying to figure out how to blame somebody else, just go ahead and talk to me. Because it's my job to make sure that we fix these messes even if I don't make them. The president is appealing to crowds in states that have been hard hit by the recession, Florida, Ohio, and California, where Orange County and the Inland Empire were ground zero in the subprime mortgage meltdown. He's aiming at public opinion beyond the beltway, hoping to turn up the heat on Congress, where his very ambitious and expensive budget and the economic stimulus package have gotten only mixed receptions. You did not send us to Washington to stand in the way of your aspirations. You didn't se send us there to say no to change. You sent us there to get things done and bring about change, and that's what I intend to do. When it came time for questions and answers, Obama invited the crowd in this Republican red county to hit him with their best shot. If, if you think I'm a bum and doing a bad job, you, you go ahead and ask your question. Nobody went that far, but one teacher said she's facing a possible layoff in the Santa Ana School District along with thousands of other California teachers. The teacher of the year also received a pink slip. We're talking about quality teachers being laid off because of something. I don't know what. Almost all of the money that's going to states under the Recovery Act for education is designed to retain teachers. But for most of the afternoon, President Obama got the rock star treatment from a crowd of more than a thousand and an event that at times sounded more like a campaign rally. <laughs> In fact, walking out after the event, the only disappointment some audience members expressed was not being called on for a question. Well, I personally, if I was going to ask him a question, I wanted to ask him, like, you know, person to person, come on, like, you just, you really wanted to smack Palin, didn't you? You just wanted to give her one, I mean. 
Well, that would have been quite a question. This is the first of a five-day public offensive by the president on the uh, budget issue, on the economic stimulus, and, of course, on AIG. Tomorrow, he starts a day with an appearance in Pomona at an uh, electric car uh, facility, and then he has a town hall meeting at the Miguel Contreras Learning Center in L.A. Tomorrow night, he'll become the first sitting president to make a live appearance on a late-night talk show. And then next Tuesday, he holds a prime-time East Coast news conference from Washington. We're live in Costa Mesa, Dave Bryan, KCAL 9 News.